industry, I am going to discuss about aggregation in MongoDB by examples. So, and here I am using Studio 3D for MongoDB. So, and here uh, DB student dot find. So, and here I am using a student collection. So, if you want to check the uh, contents inside or document inside a student. So here you can use db.student.find. So this is the contents here, id, department, id, department name, answer id, salary. Now here after I'm going to use aggregate of function. So let's use add here db and here after you, I'm going to use aggregation on student collection. Now here if you press dot, so add here you can find aggregate. So add here aggregate and here this is the details calculate aggregate values for the data in a collection and here this is the basic syntax match group id total and here you can use any aggregate to function like sum max mean average here now here after let's press enter and here after the next thing is we need to use uh, curly braces so add here, open and close curly brackets. Now here after the next thing is, so going to use at this point, add here, dollar group. So making the group, okay, dollar group and here, column here, one curly brackets and here minus id. So see add here, there is minus id. And here after minus id, I am going to do with department id. So see at here department id 20, it's a duplicate. And here 10, it's a duplicate. 20, 120, also duplicate. So making a id in group department id. So add here, let's write depart m e n t department underscore id. Depart main underscore id make that in double code and here after comma and here going to use total so total and here after colon and here after sum so dollar and sum and here and here going to use colon and here closing the curly braces so here this curly braces is for this one now here after if you add skewer to this query so add here uh, a student aggregate so using aggregate function group so making group on department id after that that will do the total sum so add here this will count to uh, department id so let's execute that this query so add here i'm getting some error masses uh, one more curly brushes that require now here after I execute to this query so add here i'm getting the output 90 it's a one time here 120 it's a one time 10 it's thrice and your 20 it's twice times here now if you want to check so 10 it's a or three times and 22 times so here this is the 10 1 2 and here after 3 and or 20 twice times so 20 is there twice times and your 40 50 60 it all of one time so this is the way we can count to total department so first you are going to make that or department id in one group here so here after counting by using total and here applying sum equal to column one now here after the same thing you can count with the department name so add here C sales marketing purchase it's all or duplicate so let's copy that and here paste it down so in place of department id i'm going to write department name so department name and here after all those things are same here execute the same query so see id three times sales four times and here rest are one times so this is the way we can count uh, any field value now the next uh, thing is here we can do uh, like uh, max mean average here 
so uh, let's so uh, on first i'm going to show you so let's write at your db dot and here a student is my collection and here using find now here after if you execute to this query so add here this is the contents inside here now the next uh, thing is so next uh, thing add here aggregate function and your group so uh, i'm going to do the average so first i'm going to make department id in one group after that calculating the average so add here db student aggregate here making group id department id now here after or uh, in place of for uh, this one let's write a b g underscore star a b g underscore star okay here after colon and you are going to use a b g function so here you can use some max mean here going to use a b g now doing the a b g on add here salary column so here let's there is the salary columns so we need to write add here dollar and here salary and here close by double quote so if you execute to this query so first that make 10 in one group after that that will or do the average so at here 10 make that in one group and here 50 20 50 in one group and here 20 in one group after that uh, it's uh, calculating the average so at here let's execute that so see 10 the value is 1200 200 24 or double zero two four double zero here after fourteen hundred so two four or double zero so that will come at here two eight double zero plus thousand three eight double zero three so if you do like this like uh, if you calculate ten so at here three eight double zero and if you divide by so total or uh, ten is or uh, three times if you divide by three then the value come at here I think 1100 something so 1166 the value come so this is the way we can calculate here average on department by making group by now the next thing is let's copy that and paste it down and here this time going to use max so I'm going to check the max survey so add here max and here apply max survey no need to change anything as so here so our uh, 10 has the 1200 is the max already now here after or uh, let's uh, uh, check and here dv dot student so see at here or uh, 10 so 1200 200 stretch stems and your 10 it's a uh, uh, 1400 Okay, let's check one more time. Max and your sum. Now execute to this query one more time. Okay, this is the location ID here. We need to check check at your 10. So 1200, 1200, and your 10. So it's 1100. Okay, so in between 3, 1200 is the maximum. Now here after let's do modification. So at here I'm going to make uh, uh, going to make uh, 16 to 50. Okay. Uh, 50 and here after the next thing 50 and here 50 the maximum side is 1500 and 800. So if you execute to this query, so see at here in 50 department ID 50 1500 is the maximum side. So this is the use of uh, max here in place of max you can use mean function also so this is the use of aggregate function in mongodb so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you